Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. sa INTV CCTN News Center kini ang balita sa alas 2 Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12 PRO 7 wa makatala og mga panghitabo subay na sa pagselebrar sa Valentine's Day Social Security System mo himog is center diya sa mga kabaranggayan Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar kauban sa inyong puwersa sa CCTN News Team kami mo hatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12 karon sa detalye sa atong mga balita Why natala ang kapulisan sa Rion 7 nga doon mga panghitabo subay na sa pagsaulog sa Valentine's Day kagahapong adlaw ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Gian Navarro Ang tibok pwesa sa kapulisan sa Police Regional Office 7 ang nagbantay karon sa seguridad sa nagkalainlaing bahin sa Central Visayas aron masiguro nga ang katawhan malinawon nga makaselebrar sa adlaw sa mga kasing-kasing Pebrero 14. Ang tigbama ba ni PRO7 Regional Director Brigadier General Jerry Beris nga si Police Lieutenant Colonel Gerard A. Spelare miingon nga mando gayod sa ilang labaw nga makita ang kapulisan sa kadalanan aron mabati sa katawhan nga sila luwas. Gawas nini nang hatag sab ang kapulisan ug buwak kay gusto nila nga ipakita sa gawas sa pagpatuman sa balaod e celebrar sab nila ang Valentine's Day. Samtang si Police Colonel Erineo Dalugdog, ang director sa Cebu City PNP, mi asoy nga alas 6 ginimbuntag ni Paygay na sila og checkpoint sa nagkalalayang bahin sa Dakbayan. Isip ka bayan sila pagpangandam sa Valentine's Day aron masiguro nga walay mga dautang mga tao nga mupahay mo sa kahigayunan. Gimog at ansab sa kapulisan nga pagminahalay dili lang sa Pebrero 14 apan ang ngayang iselebrar kada adlaw. Gian Navarro, CCTN News. Dili na niya mag-antos ang mga katawhan o mga laon sa pagbata o maka sa taas ng linya sa mga tao na doon katuyuan sa social security system tungod kay mahimo naman niya kini diha sa mga barangay. Pinagi sa e-center sa barangay nga programa sa SSS ang pagduol na ngadto sa katawhan din magsilbing silang satellite office diha sa barangay hall sa tanan ng servisyo sa nasoy ahinsya sa kagamhanan. Hinoon din sa Sugbo ang barangay Busay sa syudad sa Sugbo ang unang barangay o model barangay sa digital program sa SSS o nasugda na kini kagahapong adlawa. Prioridad sa SSS ang mga bukirang barangay aron mapasayon ang transaksyon sa katauhan apan na kinahanglan kining dedikasyon sa mga barangay sa paghimo sa ilang bahin aron mas epektibo ang pagpatuman sa e-center diha sa kabarangayan. Ikinahanglan nga doon ay internet o kusog na signal aron makatransmit sila sa mga kasayuran nga dito sa buhatan sa SSS. Adon ay mga gipang-training ng mga personnel nga mahimo usab sa ilang gimbuhaton alang sa pagalagan sa katauhan. Pipila ka mga government agencies nga nahimutang sa Governor M. Cuenco Avenue ning Dakbayan sa Sugbo ni Oyo na nga ibalhin ang ilang buhatan sa relocation site gikan sa Kapitulyo. Kini ang nakabot atol sa meeting nga gipahigayon ni Governor Gwendolyn Garcia o mga representante gikan sa Pipila kahin siya. Ngayon lunes gihimo ang mga meeting o mitanyag si Garcia nga ibalhin ang buhatan sa National Irrigation Administration ingon man sa Cebu Medical Society, ingon man ang Population Commission diya sa DA Compound sa Barangay Guadalupe. Samtang ang Girl Scout of the Philippines, ingon man ang National Food Authority, ibalin o sab sa Luna, nagipanag iya sa Kapitulyo diya sa Sudlon Lahog. Nasabutan o sab sa Kapitulyo nga ang pagbalhin sa PESDA o DepEd Applied Nutrition Center nga dito sa Luna nga kabalhinan o niya sa umaabot. Iandam nila ang kasabutan ni ini o sa gayon nga tuguta na sa kaun luhan ng pagbalhin sa mga government agencies sa ilang tasatagsa ka mga relocation site. Philippine Red Cross may abag sa rescue and relief operation dito sa Turkey o Syria nga apiktado sa linog ang kasayuran ni Hato Digian Navarro. Gibutig ni Philippine Red Cross Chairman former Senator Richard Gordon nga mohatag sila og tag 100,000 US dollars o 5 million pesos ngato sa nasod Turkey o Syria. 
kinihuman nga nakita nila ang epekto sa magnitude 7.8 nga linog sa nakalabay simana diin mubot na sa libuan ang nangamatay. Dungan sa pagpadangat sa ilang pahasubo, nakigalayo ng Red Cross nga to sa ilang mga counterparts sa naisgot mga nasod alang sa paghabag. Gataga nung dakong gibog ato ni Gordon ang pagtinabangay si Sika Nasod sa anglit na tabangan naman usab ang Pilipinas sa diang giigo o mga dagkong kalamidad. Nakahigay no sab kini sa pagpakigalayon ngato sa uban nila mga kahigalaan og mga negosyante ang matabangan usab kato mga nakalingkawas na sa kusog nga lino. Recognition na tumutulong tayo. But ang importante diyan, Turkey ask us. The government of Turkey ask the Philippine Red Cross if we can collect all uh, the equipment that we can get uh, from our people. Sab sa mga mitabang ang Canadian Red Cross sa mga naapektuhan sa Leonog diin nakahigayin sila sa pag-deploy sa ilang medical volunteers dito. We're deploying our advanced medical teams to look at potentially deploying part of our field hospital with the German Red Cross, the Norwegian Red Cross, and the Finnish Red Cross. Karong nakita ang grabing epekto sa katalagman sa manalang sa Leonog, mas may nungdanon alang ni Gordon ang kaandam sa matag-usa. Maumpakus ganila ang 143 volunteers sa Red Cross ang makaresponde kung may tabo man kini. Sanglit kanunay man silang alerto o anda mo tagana ng ito sa mga tabangunod. By the way, my people in Subic, SBMA, tinrain ko yung mga yan, they were sent there also. Uh, the military has sent also our team there. There are about 60,000 rescue personnel from all over the world so far. Ian Navarro, CCTN News. Muabot sa 800 ka mga anti-illegal drug advocate ang nahimungaon niya na partner sa kapulisan pagpakigbatok sa illegal nga drugas. Ang maong mga advocates nga kanhit tigamitan og illegal nga drugas kinsan mi surrender na og mi paubos na ingon man nakakompleto na usab sa drug rehabilitation program sa gobyerno sukad pa ni adtong 2016 dinhi sa Central Visayas. Gipaubos usab sila sa basic training aron sila madisiplina o gitudluan sila sa Itong nga execution sa uban pa ang mga miyembro sa maong nga grupo ni Apil sa dry run nga gihimo sa Cebu City Sports Center kagahapon nga dlawa. Ang mga opisyal sa paglusan sa gitawag og AIDA itunong sa buhay ay ingatan, druga ay ayawan rollout nga programa sa Department of Interior and Local Government kung DILG Karong nga Pebrero 19, adlong Domingo, sila si DILG Secretary Benjamin Abalos, ingon man ang pangu sa PNP sa nasod nga si General Rodolfo Azoren Jr. personal nga mutambong sa maong nga kalihukan. Mokad to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa nga sa tanang kaubadan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Sairi 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Naghang salamat.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. My dear sisters and brothers, let us offer this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration, and for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the end of forty days, Noah opened the hatch he had made in the ark, and he sent out a raven to see if the waters had lessened on the earth. It flew back and forth until the waters dried off from the earth. Then he sent out a dove to see 
if the waters had lessened on the earth. But the dove could find no place to alight and perch, and it returned to him in the ark. For there was water all over the earth. Putting out his hand, he caught the dove and drew it back to him inside the ark. He waited seven days more and again sent the dove out from the ark. In the evening, the dove came back to him, and there in its bill was a plot of olive leaf. So Noah knew that the waters had lessened on the earth. He waited still another seven days, and then released the dove once more. At this time, it did not come back. In the six hundred and first year of Noah's life, in the first month, on the first day of the month, the water began to dry up on the earth. Noah then removed the covering of the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was drying up. Noah built an altar to the Lord, and choosing from every clean animal and every clean bird, he offered burnt offerings on the altar. When the Lord smelled the sweet odor, he said to himself, Never again will I doom the earth because of man, since the desires of man's heart are evil from the start. Nor will I ever again strike down all living beings as I have done. As long as the earth lasts, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. The Word of the Lord. of all 
his people in the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst O Jerusalem The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethsaida, people brought to him a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. Putting spittle on his eyes, he laid his hands on the man and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up the man, the man replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid hands on the man's eyes a second time, and he saw clear clearly. His sight was restored and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. If you might be quite observant. There is a similarity, similar incident in the first reading and in the gospel reading today. Kani nga detalye eh. Sa first reading, si Noah nagpalupad og dove pirmiro, pero nibalik. Nga nipalupad na sad og nanayda nga something. Nagipalupad na po, wak na nun mo balik. Sa Ibanghelyo na to, si Jesus, miayo sa buta, pero sa pirmiro nga gibuhat sa ginoo, di pa kayo na pa'y pagka blurry. No? Mautogi, second time, gihikap sa ginoo, maayo nang nakakita. My point here, brothers and sisters, is that there is that gradual progression of events. Wala mahitabo, diya diya dayon. And that is very true in our relationship with the Lord. Dili rabad diya diya dayon ang atong pag-ila o paghigugma o diya sa atong relasyon sa Diyos. It comes gradually. And if we are aware of this gradual activities, gradual relationship, I hope dili unta tayo nana ka masapot dayon. Kung wak dayon diha diha nato madawat or ma achieve ang atong goal. There is that gradualness. And this particular activity, this kind of attitude, the act, gradual progress, nagtudlo ni nato baya, una, maayo ang tatamo pasinsya. Inanay man di ay, so pasinsyoso ang tako. Nya, mas 
uban na nga pasensya na anang kamalaumon being hopeful na niya ni panahon ang tanan kay inanay raman di ay nya labaw sa tanan this gradualness would hopefully teach us di ba maubitong gitawag o gradual nga di ta tamuhunong di ta mahutdan og pasensya di ta mahutdan og paglaom kay sama bitaw sa Ginoo wa man siya muhunong og hatag sa atong mga gipangayo wa man siya muhunong pag higugma nato morning kaning a quality of gradual progression hopefully ma appreciate nato kay tanaw ra god kun muhunong na aw di na na gradual hinaot on Please rise for the prayers of the faithful. Jesus healed the blind at Bethsaida. Rather than an instantaneous cure, it took a process. Let us pray that the Lord may enlighten the eyes of our hearts to see clearly the needs of those who suffer. Let our response be, Lord, open our eyes to your love. Lord, open our eyes to your love. Let the church may preach the integral salvation of Christ, the healing both soul and body. The blind people see, the deaf hear, the mute speak, and the poor have the good news. Preach to them, we pray. Lord, help us to your love. That the government agency and civic groups may attend to the special needs of the blind, the deaf, and the mute and help them to be integrated in society. We pray. Lord, open our eyes to your love. That through our evangelized faith, we may see distinctly the beauty of our religion and our responsibility towards our brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, open our eyes to your love. That through repentance, we may leave the darkness of sin and live in the light of Easter. We pray. Lord, open our eyes to your love. That while in this world we seek darkly as in a mirror, may we someday see God clearly face to face and enjoy the vision of his glory. We pray. Lord, open our eyes to your love. Almighty God, you are near to us ever at our side guide us to your light that we may take the path that leads to our salvation we ask this through christ our lord Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will 
the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Jose Palma, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let me say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Let's continue our devotion to St. Joseph. Act of Consecration to St. Joseph. O glorious patriarch and patron of the church, O virgin spouse of the virgin mother of God, O guardian and virginal father of the word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father, my guardian and my protector. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy to be a member of your holy house. Present me to the Immaculate Spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue, protect me from the evil one, and help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you in faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary. I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Saint Joseph. Noble offspring of David. Light of patriarchs. Spouse of the Mother of God. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Foster father of the Son of God. Zealous defender of Christ. Head of the Holy Family. Joseph, most just. Joseph, most chaste. Joseph, most prudent. Joseph, most courageous. Joseph, most obedient. Joseph, most faithful. Mirror of patience. Lover of poverty. Model of workmen. Glory of domestic life. Guardian of virgins. Pillar of families. Comfort of the afflicted. Hope of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of the Holy Church, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Of of the of the world. He has made him Lord of his household. O oh God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us now approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. 
offer the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity. Let us thank the Lord. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As we wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus you have turned our fears into joy and for this we thank and praise you to you be glory now and forever mary help of christians saint michael the archangel san roque san pedro kalungsod the lord be with you and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Cadillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines.